Hello everybody, Adam at Flash Building here and I would love to show you a finished product of what we're about to create but I haven't created it yet. In this project we're just gonna wing it. We're gonna build as we go and I'm not gonna rehearse or pre-create the application and we'll have a better sense of the workflow that way. What we're gonna make is an mp3 player that has a clickable scrollable playlist. That way all of the song titles and artists would be visible in a scrollable list and each song whether you have five or three hundred can be clickable in that list and I believe it could be an unlimited amount of songs in it and the nicest thing about it is it will be XML configured that way somebody without flash could use this application for their websites so you can as a developer build something like this and sell it if you make it nice enough so I'm going to be teaching everybody how to make their apps a little more modular, a little more content management system type applications to where somebody without the actual software can manipulate it with uh, simple text files or XML files. Let's rock and roll. You don't have to be an expert in Flash to build this with me. You can be a complete beginner. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, man. And I'm also going to release these source files for free after we get done creating it. Uh, so people that come into the lessons later on, maybe in the year, they could just snatch up the files right away. But And nobody can get to the files actually right now because all of the sites are down and GoDaddy's working on the issues. Uh, so once my sites are back up, the, all the files will be available again. <laughs> Alright, let's get to building this thing. Let's create new ActionScript 3 file. And this is going to be set up in a series because we're going to cover quite a few things and we're gonna make sure that somebody beginning can follow along with this as well so we don't want just to fly through everything for all the experts in flash to say okay I see what he's doing good 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 let's go some of you guys get too antsy you know just fast forward if you get uh, impatient don't yell at me alright so let's go into the components library we have a new file here I'm gonna set the frame rate up to 30 just to match with you CS4 guys because you have 30 by default and I'm going to make the background black. Well, let's make it that gray color there. Okay, now I'm going to drag out from the components library the list. This is going to power. Pretty much it's going to power our whole MP3 player. And we're going to also add buttons later on, like play buttons, back and forth, and all that good stuff. But what we want to do here is and I can't say for sure how many features we're going to add but it's going to be pretty full featured and the main focus of it is going to be this clickable playlist so once we have this on stage and it's highlighted let's give it an instance name of list keep it simple now let's right click it convert to symbol call it my whole player that way we do this so that if you have a full flash website there won't be any timeline discrepancies or issues or conflicts you can just pop this little movie clip called my whole player anywhere in your full flash website or if you have an HTML website and you want to put this on a page with mingled with HTML you can do that also but we'll make it this way so both scenarios will work okay the first thing we're gonna cover is making this list component customized and rendered and designed exactly the way you want because you might not want the regular the cells in the list to have the regular white background with the black text on it you might want a black background on the cells with a white text or maybe black background with a blue text so I'm going to show you how to do that so first thing we'll do is double click inside of our whole player movie clip and now here's the list component let's go ahead and go into the help and let's grab a for loop. I typed in for loop, press enter or press search, and there's a little for loop example. Let's copy that. Now let's go into the actions panel by highlighting layer one. Actually, on layer one, let's leave that list component by itself and let's add a new layer by clicking insert layer. And we'll call this one AS3. Now on the action script 3 layer, let's just lock that so we don't accidentally put anything on it. Highlight that keyframe and press F9 or go up to Window, Actions. 
and here we're just going to type in let's put a stop action because we're going to have a couple of more frames in here there's going to be more than just this one so we want to have a stop action first thing in our application now the next thing we want to do is put this for loop in that we copied from the help file there and I like my function set up like that so I'm going to bring that bracket up now here where it says trace I so this is going to put five items I'm going to have it put ten items change that five to a ten and remove this trace and here we're going to type in list dot add item and here's how we're pushing items into the list cells to render what is going to be in the list and this is just going to be for example's sake this isn't going to throw our actual mp3 songs in the list but we want to make it look the way we want it to look before we actually program it we want to design it so in between the uh, add item parentheses there we'll type in a curly bracket and a couple of spaces another curly bracket let's put a space in between those there okay the first thing we're going to type in is label and this is what's going to be showing in the cell and we'll just say label colon is equal to the value is going to be song plus i so all we have to do is add this i here because i is the the index of the loop so let's go ahead and use that number and each time the loop goes over these ten items it's going to increment this little i number so this variable of i is going to reach ten eventually when it gets to the end of the loop but it'll have a value of one through ten as it goes through the loop so we can say song plus double quote double quote and in there actually song has to be in between double quotes sorry type the word song space and then plus uh, I there we go so that's the label it'll have on it let's go ahead and press control enter and see what happens See? okay so it says song one starting at song zero you wanted to make that start at one you just make this a one okay so that's a good test now we can design this thing now that we have some items in it we can look at it and actually design it the way we want it to look now let me stress again this for loop is not how we're going to be adding the songs the actual songs to our player this is just for referencing how the player looks right now so we can design it let's change the width I'm gonna highlight it change the width to say 300 I'm gonna make it nice and wide so let's press control enter you see the effect that has so now you have a nice little list each one's clickable and when you click them they turn blue when you go over them they have a an over effect of light blue and you can change all of that and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now the first thing we want to do is make those cells change from white to black see those cells in there so let's double click inside of the list component right now inside you'll see all of the things that make up the component and those are little movie clips that you can double click and manipulate so let's go to the sender the cell renderer skins double click it and this is the easy way to manipulate things see the up skin double click that one right there is where you can edit it highlight it change it from white to black now go back to scene one or my whole player double click into my whole player and then press control enter now you see I've made the cells black and that blue effect is is pretty cool but I'm gonna change that too to not be so bright so what we'll do is now you'll notice that on the cells you can't see the text now unless you put your mouse over it so we can change that text color inside of the component and by the way this method works for uh, most of the components okay, so all we have to do now is type in list <clears throat> list dot set renderer style open close parenthesis semicolon in between the parenthesis let's type in 
a set of double quotes, a comma, and the function, not the function, this uh, variable here for the format. That's how it's going to be applied to the list component. Here we're going to type in text format. Now let's press control enter together to see what we have. Should be white text. There you go. Now the text doesn't show up when we have that bright blue on the over. We're going to take care of that too. I'm going to I'm going to show you how to manipulate this whole thing to look exactly the way you want it easily. Okay, let's double click inside of this list component and tweak it some more where we need to tweak it. Cell renderer skins and the one was the over skin that was so bright. Let's go into that one. Make sure we unlock and view all items there. So you unlock, make sure you have colors in those view view blocks there. Now highlight that and change it to any color you want. I'm going to go with uh, a custom color. Maybe bluish. Yeah, let's go blue. I like a brew. I like a brew a rot. Okay, so maybe a nice dark something like that. Okay. Now let's press control enter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, like Mazook says. Let's go into uh change that color, make it a little bit darker. We want a very subtle effect, so we're not tacky. As designers, we gotta think, don't be tacky. Now look how subtle and sweet that is. It's smooth as butter, baby. Now, let's close that out and uh, go back into cell renderer here. And you can also change the the outline that it's gonna have. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Now, let's go into list here. Click list, and you'll be in the list section of your in your movie clips of that list component now see the scroll bar skin <clears throat> if we press control enter it's almost too bright for our little design we have here now so we can change that by double clicking inside of this control bar and uh, yeah just manipulate all these the way I just showed you let's uh, let's get this one first I'm just going to do a couple and then you can you can do whatever you want. Up. We want this one first. Let's click double click that and this is a group. Double click inside the group and it has that color on it and it looks like it might be, have a gradient. So you go over to the color wheel instead of selecting here, you go to the color wheel. I think I just changed the color. Let's control C. Yeah but it has a gradient on it so you don't want to change the color there you go to the wheel or the uh, the color palette rather open the color palette and then you'll have the gradient to manipulate there let's make this dark black really dark and cute and then make the other color on the other side of the gradient dark as well maybe right about there beautiful now let's go back in here and then go back in here and we can manipulate the other things as we go so you can manipulate all this stuff I'm not going to show you on video because now you have the gist of how to go in and manipulate all these components uh, bar skins and cells and all that stuff and set the text okay let's press control in to take a quick look you can see now we have a nice black scroll bar and I'm going to change it to be to not have that bright white on the over effect but you can see what I'm shooting for now and you can do the same similar thing I'm gonna adjust all of the, all of the colors that I want and then I'll resume okay I'm pretty happy with this push control enter I'll show you so this is what I have I adjusted the the uh, up and down arrow buttons and I'm gonna do a few more tweaks on it but you can see how I made everything took it from its original gray and white to more of a black and chrome and uh, dark blue effects alright let's go back into whole player movie clip 
let's just go into scene one so we can get a normal view of our stage again double click into the whole player and there's the list component okay so let's take another quick look at the code we have going so far this a little example here will be we'll get rid of this but we're gonna keep this formatting and the next in part two I'm gonna show you how to get the we're gonna take a look at the XML file and how simple that is to adjust for anybody and uh, we'll also go into bringing that XML file into Flash parsing all that data and putting it all into this scroll each song that you want to add to the XML file and uh, what will happen is song one will be playing by default when the application opens we're going to program it to be playing song one by default and each subsequent song that gets clicked upon is going to make that song stop and the new one start playing so look forward to part two when we'll have uh, we won't get to where it's an actual finished player yet in part two but we're going to load the XML and understand all of that parsing it and setting up these list items through the ex external XML